Yo, what's good, Crazy Nation? It's your boy SB Rep the Crazy. You know what it is? I'm back again with another reaction. This is to Red Velvet Feel My Re Rhythm recording behind. I'm actually keen for this. I've been wanting to watch this. I like watching the behind the scenes of recordings and stuff like that, especially because I say this often, but I like bringing it up. Um, because I'm a reactor in Australia, um, a lot of times I get invited to go to like recording studios and stuff like that. And it's cool. It's cool to watch people work and it's cool to see like how they get to the parts of the song, like how they work it out, the trust between them and the producers and stuff like that, the trust between them and the members. I reckon it's pretty cool. So let's get this started. Let's get it. Let's go. This is one of my favorite songs by Red Velvet, so I'm going to like this anyway. But yeah, I'm going to have our album reaction to Red Velvet coming out soon. I just wanted to give some Red Velvet fans some material so then they don't jump on me. But anyway, that's all I've got to say, so let's get it. Let's go. Mm. So is Wendy like a producer? Does she like to do like production and stuff like that? Cause that's what, or does she like to like like engineer and stuff like that? Because what does she mean by like um, she was working on the key. I, I know what it means, but I'm trying to remember. So she lowered the key of the, um, the note. The note. Oh, like how high this. Mm. Mm. Oh. I love Wendy. Okay, okay. Okay. <laughs> I like that and then they keep on trying to do diff she keeps on trying to do different variations so then they can over and lower each other sometimes people will be like oh there's another person singing under the song when in reality it's just Wendy it's just um no, uh, not Wendy. It's just the original singer singing right under, and sometimes, sometimes that happens. So it happens pretty often. <laughs> Everyone here wants to go. <laughs> See that? Understanding that it's a group. Understanding that they have to talk to each other and explain it. Like, yo, like, what do you think? Is this going to work for us? It's smart. It makes perfect sense. Adios, everybody. Everyone. Her voice is so good. Wow. 
밴딩이 쉽지 않죠? 지금 다 쉽지 않아요. 예수 밴딩. 못하면 밴딩이 쉽지 않죠? 지금 다 쉽지 않아요. 이 순간을 놓지 마, baby. 이 순간을 놓지 마, baby. Her voice is incredible. Yogurlo. Wow. Just ride. Get loud. Just ride. Just ride. I said I enjoy that she has that relationship with her producers. That's just like alright, like or composers, um, whatever they are. Practically producers. Um, where it's like, okay, like should I do this? Should I do that? It's exploring the sound. And as well, it's having trust in the members to do that, which is really good. Wow. Just ride. Get loud. Just ride. Just ride. Get loud. What time did that start? That said. Bro, so who know? I don't know what time it started, but she's gone all the way to 1:45 p.m. or a.m. That's cool though, how she did that, because it did sound cool like that. Just ride, get loud. Is it a.m.? I don't know, but crazy though. Bray Boon은 약간 I love 언니들 that tone 느낌. that she does. 음, 약간 힙한 언니들 같고 우는 좀더 애들 느낌. 어때요? 어가 나. Bro, she does that vibe on birthday and it kills me. Whenever she sings that part, it kills me when she does it on birthday. 저 언니 지금 하니까 Bray 말을 더 올릴까? Bray? 이렇게. 요 정도가 딱 적당하죠. 한데. 웬디 씨. 없지 않네. Jesus. 진짜 웃기지만 약간 딱 들었을 때 하아 이런 느낌 났으면 좋겠거든요. Wow. 제가 내일 더 완벽하게 해볼게요. That's the thing I say to a lot of people. That's just one session. Like, you don't know how long they do this for. They probably record this. Most songs get recorded. Like, they do pre-recording, all that type of stuff. And then sometimes they might keep on coming back to it, like a month later, two months later. You never know. Like, it happens so often. <laughs> That's clean. I love when artists see this is what I like. Me as a person that reacts to music, loves music. I love when the artist has asks the producer, should I go higher? Should I go lower? I love that because that means you trust your producer's opinion. A lot of people don't listen to, well, not a lot, but 
I've met a lot of people that don't listen to their producers. And to me, that's amazing because it's like, okay, I understand that you think you know everything, but there's times where you need the producers here, you need the engineers here, you need everyone, like the staff that you have around you. You need their ear as well. And I feel like that's very important. And see, that's what she means. Like, it's bringing it bright means that it matches the song. Because if you think about Feel My Rhythm, it's a very bright song. And that's why she says, is it like, is it okay for me to do that? <laughs> and see there, she's listening, she's listening to it back. It's important to listen to that stuff back and understand like, all right, is this good enough progress for today? <laughs> See, listen to that man. See the part, the part. Let's have a little fun. Since I pronounce it too clearly, and then she says that it sounds formal. Ooh, her ad libs are cold. To me, what's annoying, like, I, I, I wouldn't say it's annoying, but like, going to like witnessing this type of stuff, I can't. I can't believe how many times people go over ad libs. I understand it, but it's crazy to me how, like, how much they go over it. Like ad libs, I feel like they're the one thing that go, like people go over the most. Like, I feel like a lot of people don't understand how important ad libs can be in songs. But yeah, like it's just interesting to hear this back because I'm like. Wow, like those ad libs, they're ad libs in my personal opinion. I love Red Velvet's ad libs. So, like, it makes sense why it sounds so good because they do it so many times. <laughs> Sway. Sway. <laughs> Say like that, just that opinion matters, man. Sway. 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 What a voice. And 
everyone's tone sounds completely different to each other. I've heard at least three to four different tones so far, and I love it. They sound so well together, and that's the thing. You can mix them so well into the song. It's so smart. It's just smart. And so that's the good part of having um like people in in the room like the producers and stuff like that because if there's stuff that she missed and she doesn't remember how she hit it they can tell her like oh by the way this is how you did it you know Three hours! <laughs> the amazing part is that they cut that down to into like three minutes. Three to four minutes. That's nuts. <laughs> and so yeah, so there's some back. I love that. <laughs> oh, I'm addicted to this chick's voice. I gotta react to her album soon. Oh. 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 Not only that, I love the different stances that they have when it comes to recording. Like I've noticed with Sulgi, she's more closer to the microphone. It's just very interesting. I find that stuff. I find that stuff very interesting. Everyone has their own way of recording and it's so cool. Hmm. Her voice is so sweet. Oh, I love that! And then he says, "See, you can project it. So, like, you can test it out and see if it if it works." When people say to me, like, I've seen sometimes when people say Red Velvet can't sing, and it's like, to me, these are the best ways to see if they can sing, because they are practicing and all that stuff, so there's no sounds, there's nothing on top of it, it's just them singing pure, raw music. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I love that. I love how they. I love how Red Velvet does like this singing type rapping thing. It works so well with their sound. I don't know who made that. Like, I re I'm very curious on how Red Velvet made that. Like. 
I'm I'm not sure if Red Velvet made it a thing, but I'm just very curious on who made that a thing. Where it's like it's like a singing type rapping thing, but it works so well with their voices. It's just very interesting. I like the sound a lot. I reckon it's just like I listen to it and I'm just like, what the hell, man? That sounds so cool. And I love it. But see there, she's done that she's done that one part four times with four different type of tones. So she did one which was low, one that it, it, it was going higher and higher. One went, one was very low, then one was mid, and then one was like a high note. That's so, yeah, I just love this type of stuff. So it seems like out of all members, Shulgi has Shulgi has one of the most like trustworthy relationships with with the producer. Because you see, she, I don't, from what we've seen, she's asked the most questions, which is interesting. It's just cool. Like, I, I, I want to I wanna see her recording progress behind her singles now because of it. <laughs> this is the stress of recording. Because <laughs> it's a high note. offensive to the other members but it seems like they're more artistic like they're very hard on themselves but as well like they're very artistic and that's why you listen to Sugi, she she adds like small things but it works so much with the song well i don't know about the others i've only like this is i've only seen it from this but you know like it's just interesting to see how that works <laughs> Oh, 
That was awesome. I wonder how long she recorded for. Because that seemed like that was long. Okay, so that's what she's looking at. to this I, I understand so much about this group and this is just one song it's just oh it's just so cool i love hearing this shit it's so good like i said they have like a whole like entree of like sounds and it works perfectly certain each member can hit certain parts and it works perfectly Oh, so she did the intro. Oh. Oh, that's cold. Ah, that... <laughs> 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 oh, How should I make it not so cringy? She has very hard parts, Bro, what is that tone? Wow. Jesus. But why does it not sound? Why does it not work whenever I try to record it? so hard on your voice. <laughs> Look how excited she gets. Watch the excitement on her face when she noticed that it's good. I can't imagine how long she recorded that. Cause that seemed like that was way longer than what it seems like on that. It seems like she was trying to hit that note for a minute and she couldn't hit it. That's a blue. <laughs> 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 Oh, 
그렇죠? 인트로인가요? 네. 아, 근데 문제는 네. 인트로가 제일 어려워요. 아. <웃음> <웃음> so excited, so 인트로인가요? 네. 아, 근데 문제는 네. 인트로가 제일 어려워요. 아. <웃음> 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 I can see why she says it's the hardest. Yeah, if she's hard on herself with that other part, oh, I can't imagine how hard she was on on this song, on this part, on this part of the song. This is the most difficult. Oh my God, what a voice! Wendy again. It is Wendy. Oh my god. So we've gotten three different recordings from Wendy from three different days. Damn, that's nuts. <laughs> that's nuts. <laughs> <laughs> well, the the like the promo of I envy you, but um, <laughs> it's interesting. That was cool. I like that. I like that a lot. That was mad. I enjoy it. Like I said, I really enjoy those type of videos because you get to see more about the group. You get to understand how they record, how they work with their producers. I feel like that's very important. I feel like other people don't understand that, you know? Like, I feel like it's both. It's both. They work so well. The producers and the um, the artists work so well together. Like I said, it was very interesting to see the way Sulgi talks to the producers because she asks so many questions. And I was just like, damn, like, okay, that's crazy. Like, she really understands, like, the relationship between the producer and, um, and the artist. Um, Wendy, Jesus, I can really see why Wendy is so loved. Like, 
Wendy's nuts. <laughs> Wendy's insane. Like I'm, I'm just listening to Wendy, and I'm just like, damn, like, <laughs> like in disbelief. Every time I see anything of Wendy, I'm just like, oh, okay, shit. But as well, yeah, I feel like Wendy and Sulugi were the backbone of this song, in my personal opinion. Because both of them did a lot. Did a lot. But as well, I reckon it, the producers must love it. That they have such a deep connection with the artist that, or like relationship, that they can talk to each other and just work that shit out. And it's interesting. It's really cool. I like it. I'm actually keen to, I'm keen to hear more. So if you want me to watch another video of Red Velvet's um, recording, I might do birthday because I actually want to see that. But yeah, if you just want me to record it, let me know and I'll drop it. But yeah, that's all I've got to say. So if you like this, give this a thumbs up. None of that. Comment if you want to see more. Subscribe. Remember, keep living a crazy life and stay blessed. Peace. Laters. Ah, whoop.